Yeah. LAPD officers pinned down by a barrage of gunfire. Tense moments in an upscale neighborhood under threat from a gunman. Good evening to you. I'm Susan Hirasuna, and welcome to the Fox 11 Weekend News. Terror in a Marina Del Rey neighborhood after a gunman opens fire from an apartment rooftop. Fox 11's Chelsea Edwards joins us now live. And Chelsea, there are reports the suspect was actually live streaming the shooting. That's right, Susan. That was initially reported by City News Service. It appears, though, that those videos have now been scrubbed from the Internet. There are other videos circulating out there. We actually just spoke with a neighbor who took some. We heard several gunshots over and over. So many gunshots rang out last night, just terrifying this neighborhood. Everybody in the area had to be on lockdown while authorities tried to figure this situation out. Take a listen. My girlfriend's been in, in like, lockdown in her apartment this whole time. Again, gunshot after gunshot rang out at this apartment complex. We're in Marina Del Rey, and this all happened last night, where an armed resident started firing from the rooftop. Now, everyone in the area told to shelter in place while authorities tried to figure out exactly where the rounds were coming from at first, and also what was going on and what had prompted it. Now, it happened at this building called the Pearl on Via Marina. We're right across the street from Mother's Beach, to give you some perspective. This all started around 10:15 last night. Law enforcement teams surrounded the area, blocked off all the neighborhoods streets. They brought in Bearcats, SWAT teams, air detail. We're told an L.A. County Sheriff air team spotted the suspect on the roof firing rounds from a rifle. The ordeal lasted almost three hours. Neighbors say their nerves are just fried. It's pretty terrifying, again, having that incident in the Venice Canals just last weekend and, you know, that we've never had, obviously, any type of active shooter situation or anything at this level, and this this very it's all residential for the most part. So, it's very concerning. Uh now, just to note, authorities have not made any connection between this suspect and any other recent crimes in the area. They also haven't identified this suspect yet, but we're told he was taken into custody at around 1 p.m. And again, neighbors confirmed that he lived in this complex uh, and there had been issues in the past. We're trying to get more information on exactly what those were. Now, miraculously, the good news here, nobody was hurt, which is pretty incredible when you consider how many rounds were fired. Some neighbors say anywhere between 50 to 100. Uh, no official word on how many were fired from authorities, but a lot of gunfire ringing out last night. And you can see still active law enforcement presence here, still have crime tape up and still have sheriff's deputies that are outside the building hoping for an update soon. But again, just incredible that nobody was hurt in this, that person taken into custody. Uh, a lot of terror in this neighborhood last night, Susan.